Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to access the advanced background features within a container. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. And we're going to do this on a section, but this can also be applied to a column, to a row, to a div, whatever you would like. But we're going to select our section here and on the section, right out of the box, you can set a background color. We can make this something like this purple color here. But what if we wanted an image or we wanted an image with some sort of overlay on it? Well, the way we access that is toggling on our advanced backgrounds here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now think of this as a second and third layer, really. So our base layer is still this purple color, but we really are going to disregard that. We're going to come in here to our lower layer and let's go ahead and set this to a background image. And in that background image, we might just set something like this. And that's looking pretty good, but our text might be a little bit hard to read there. So we can actually scroll down to our upper layer and here we can select a color. And on this color, we might select that purple color that we have, but we want it to have quite a bit of opacity here. So maybe we do something like this, maybe a little more. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. And then maybe we want this background here when we scroll to have a little bit of a parallax effect to it. So to kind of see this in action, I'm going to go ahead and just add a section here uh, and we'll just add like 100% viewport height on that. And that will allow us to scroll a little bit. And in our first section, we will turn our parallax on. And I always think 150 is a bit much for my design taste. So let's go 135. And now what we'll see is as we scroll that background just has a little bit of movement to it as well. And to see this a little more dramatically, let's go ahead and use something with some more visuals in it. Now you can see how that shifts as we are scrolling. So you can really have a lot of fun with these advanced background layers and come up with some really unique designs. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you in the next video.